2024 get in here and act right she's giving classy wife so they used to have rats in here they what? Dear God, I thank you for. Oh my God, I'm a goat girl. Hey y'all, Happy New Year's Eve. Today's December thirty first, last day, two thousand twenty three, baby. And I have been up preparing the house, doing laundry and stuff. Right now, we're about to wash the car. Can't go in 2024 with my dirty car. Can't do it, babes. Baby, I had to get the $20 wash because I can't tell you the last time my car was washed. And I normally take my car uh, to the hand wash people. But I haven't been, y'all. Just It just has not been on my mind. So I got the most expensive wash, which was $20, because honestly, my car is in need, okay? Um, I'm gonna call y'all back because the lighting looks wonky. So I'll call y'all back and let y'all know what else we have on the agenda for today. All right, y'all, so we are done. I still need a hand wash because the lower parts of my car need to be scrubbed. Um, Homegirl outside in her pajamas, baby. I know that's right. And some Uggs. But, uh, yeah, the car was dirty. We got it washed. I vacuumed her out. She's like new. So now we are about to hit the Sally's because I don't know what I've been doing like with my nail application these last two times. But the same middle finger has been losing its nail. And right now it's wiggling. So it's loose. So I'm about to go and get some of the best nail glue that I be seeing the girls recommend on TikTok for regular press-ons. Since this nail has gel glue on it, I'ma see if it still adheres, which I hope it does. But yeah, so today I am gonna go to the nail shop. I'm gonna go to Mickey's, cause I don't plan on cooking cabbage and, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go to Mickey's once I'm done getting my toes done so that I can get the cabbage and stuff. And then come back home and finish cleaning up so yeah hopefully the nail shop don't take long because i feel like you know that's real questionable at the car wash it took like 10 minutes if that i i don't even think it took 10 minutes but yeah anyway y'all that is what's on the agenda for today i am about to pull up at sally's so i will talk to y'all later at sally's y'all Zero, zero, zero. They're all gone. Oh, the press on girls ain't playing. Why sellers ain't have no glue? Why sellers ain't have no glue, babes? So the employee told me to go to um the beauty supply store. I got two of them. It's two of them in this area, so I'm gonna go see, babes, what they got. Cause look, ain't nobody got time for that. The girls told me to come down here, but I just know Kiss ain't the only brand they got. Yeah, I should have listened to that lady because she told me to go to a very specific nail salon or beauty supply and I didn't. Listen, I just went to the one that was closest to me and they only had Kiss nail glue which ain't the best but i'm about to mm, that hurt baby that nail was tacked down except for on one side i'm gonna show y'all the one i got in a minute i just don't want the nail to fly off and i have to redo the whole nail like polish cut foul buff i don't feel like that <laughs> all right <sighs> y'all this little bottle must be slippery i keep dropping it but this is the uh nail glue that i got it is the Kiss Ultra Pink Nail Glue. Y'all, I'm leaving Mickey's. Um, I waited in line probably like five minutes. And I got out because I'm not going to be waiting in no line, babe. I'm ready to go home. 
I'm just gonna have to go to the grocery store and cook my food because I was waiting in line outside. I'm gonna pop up a picture, a video, and I'm about to drive by so y'all probably gonna be able to see some of the people in the line. Look to my little. Yeah, it's curved around. Um, I would have waited if the line was not as long because keep in mind you still gotta wait in line inside as well and i just feel like i can go to the grocery store get me some food and be back at home comfortably comfortably instead of waiting in line like it's hot and then they got the line in the street like let's be for real every time a car come through we gotta move over a little bit i would rather not so i'm not i'm about to go home I'm sure ATB is going to be packed because it's 3.50. I could have been at home by now. So, that's neither here nor there. We're about to go to ATB. We go to the crib, walk the dog, finish folding up these clothes, and that's going to be my day. I just wanted to come catch y'all up. My toes is cute, but I just, I don't know. I feel like that's why I don't normally get French tip a lot. I like a pink clear base for my um, toes when I get French tip. And um, I feel like the lady did a good job of she was clear. I did not speak up because honestly, I was just ready to go home. Y'all know, I really don't like going to the nail shop. One of my friends asked me um, when I'm gonna start doing my own toes. I don't know if I will ever want to. I have all the materials, um, you know. I got the, I even got a little tub that I've had for a very long time. I just don't know if I would ever want to do my toes. I just don't know. So I'm sure I would be able to do it to how to my liking every time, but I don't know. Other than the um the way my French looks, it's cute and classic, but I like a more baddy French tip. You know what I'm saying? I want a little pink, clear, thinner. Uh, white polish. Wish she did thin it out, but I be wanting mine a little bit thinner. But whatever, good. I ain't got time. As long as my toes looking cute when I want to put on my sandals, that's all I care about. So, yeah, I will call y'all back later. Let y'all see what we up to. And that's just gonna be it for now. Baby, please don't play with London New Year. I need to go to London one year to experience this beauty in person, baby. They having a whole party. But cheers. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2024 and goodbye 2023. We can toast to that. Dear God, I thank you for everything you gave to us. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Woo, child, that took a lot out of me, but Happy, Happy New Year, y'all. Today's January 1st, 2024. Did you hear me? January 1st, 2024, y'all. And I just want to say Happy New Year to y'all. I really hope and pray that 2024 is your best year yet. I hope that you get everything that you sold in 2023. I hope that it comes into fruition. I hope that it grows into everything that you prayed and hoped for in 2024. I also wish the same for me. I feel like 2023 was the year of me sowing, the year of me planting, and now it's time to grow. So anyway, hey y'all, happy Monday. We are getting ready to cook. I just changed into my cute PJs from Shein. Y'all, Shein be having them PJ pieces. Okay, let me let me scroll back a little bit so y'all can see what it's giving. It's like, it's cute and girly, y'all. Like, look at the pants and the arm sleeve. She's giving. I'm trying to cover up a little bit because I'm comfortable in my house. So yeah, I put on this little headband and I slept the wig on just to greet the vlog. But girl, I have prepped my food and we're about to cook. I think this is the second or third year that I'm spending New Year's away from my family. 
Um, they had a bonfire last night, y'all, and I was low key. No, no, no. I was high key jealous. But Myron should be coming home in a couple days, and then we'll skedaddle down to Mississippi. But if anything changes about his um, departure date from where he's at at work, then I would just have to go to Mississippi without him. So hopefully, prayerfully, that won't be the case. Um, but yeah, I have been talking to my friends and my family all day. I prepped my food, I took the dog out. Um, yeah, so now we're about to cook prepare to eat and then I'm gonna start writing my goals my intentions and everything for the first quarter as well as making a vision bingo board um, for 2024 if I have time because I do also need to shoot my 2023 reflection video today so if I have time I'll do a very small digital vision board that I feel comfortable sharing with y'all but we're not playing any more games in 2024 if you watch my previous video the uh which is the 2023 recap video you know the 2023 started off great but then it got super weird we ain't playing that this year 2024 get in here act right get in here and act right we don't want no weirdness okay i could blame it on the physical i could blame it on your lips your touch your kiss you know real traditional yeah, baby, this ain't no plate that grandma made, Pookie. This is made by Auntie Lily, y'all. These my famous greens. I try not to make them too spicy this time. Honey, they are bomb. Sweet potatoes bussing. Rice and gravy. And that's chicken gravy, by the way. Y'all, the food is so good. I'm not even going to eat all of this because I've been eating as I cook. So, yeah. This food right here. Baby, this is why I don't cook like my grandma because I be big as a house. This is too good. I think I'm surprised myself because I ain't cooked like this in so long. Mm. Baby. I'm telling you, look at this plate. I don't even want the chicken. I don't know why I cook chicken. Mm, that is so good. Oh my God. Hey y'all, so I am done with my makeup. We are about to shoot this um 2023 in review video uh, which should be posted by the time y'all see this. I do my vision board. Um, like a, a miniature version like for uh, my iPad and my iPhone. Even more than that, I want to write down my intentions, intentions for the first quarter and I want to make my vision bingo board because it's very basic and I feel like it's something that's easy to attain. And like, I don't know, you'll get more gratification from like being able to like use a marker or whatever you want to use to actually like dab or dot the things that you do achieve so i really want to get that done today so right now it is 8 45 and it should take me no more than 20 minutes to do this video because i don't know if i have a lot of things that i want to say about 2023 because it was such a weird year but okay we'll see yeah we're about to get into making this vision bingo board and then we're also going to start writing our intentions and our goals for the first quarter. But I'm probably going to, um, I, I, I would rather do that on pen and paper. And I was going to do it in my iPad. I could do it in my iPad until I find a cute tablet that I want to, to put my goals and action plans and everything in. Because I normally do it in my, um ipad and on my computer and stuff like that i don't know y'all sometimes i struggle between like being a digital girly and a pen and paper girly like i have a real hard time with that like sometimes i journal on my ipad sometimes i journal on my notebook sometimes i write my goals on my ipad sometimes i write it down on my notebook 
or on my computer, you know? Sometimes I write my meal plans down on paper. Sometimes I have it in my iPad and good notes. So I, I really struggle with that. I feel like I need to get more streamlined in 24. I feel like digital might be the way to go because it just keeps everything in the same spot. I ain't gotta go looking for my journal if it ain't on my desk, if it ain't by my bed. Mm, I don't know. I'm rambling, so let's get into it, y'all. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Heart beating fast, let a nigga know that he alive. All right, y'all. So here is the final result of my bingo board and my very basic uh, digital vision board. I blocked some things out that I did not want to share, but all in all, I want to pay off some debt, some student loans, stack some coins, and have a great year. What do y'all think about the bingo board? Is this something that you would try? Let me know. Comment down below. Good afternoon, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Today is January 2nd, 2024, baby. And we are finally out of the house, y'all. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but sis is dealing with some type of sinus, allergy type of situation, and it has been getting on my nerves. Oh my God, it's been getting on my nerves, y'all. But earlier today, um, well, actually, on New Year's Eve, when I was doing my laundry and everything, I realized that I only had one big tub of laundry detergent left. So I was like, okay, I need to re-up on my stuff. So <clears throat> earlier today, I was just kind of browsing around looking at what's on sale and stuff like that. Because I normally get my laundry detergent uh, from Target. I get the Pier Sale or I get... Um, the 199 laundry detergent from like Walgreens or CVS. <clears throat> so I noticed that CVS had buy three of those small laundry detergents get um buy three for $7.49. So I bought three. And I just happened to be on FaceTime with my mama and she was like, okay, I'm by Walgreens, so let me go see if um let me go see if they have it on uh, sale down here too girl why my mama went in the store and the freaking laundry detergents have decreased in size y'all they made them so much smaller i'm gonna go in there i'm gonna try to uh show y'all like what it actually looks like but girl they so tiny so i'm like target has 15 dollar gift card if you spend 50 dollars on home care so y'all when i go pick up my target order y'all gonna see how much laundry detergent dryer sheets and everything that i have um compared to me getting nine of these tiny things y'all from what my mama showed me in the store it was about they about this big and they used to be about this big but they're just so little now i just don't feel like it's worth the price so like i said it's three for seven dollars and 49 cents to somebody that might sound good but since my mom and i do, do like coupons the better deal is Spending fifty dollars on home care items at Target, and then um, getting that fifteen dollar gift card and spending that on something else. So that's what I'm gonna do. Like in addition to like laundry stuff, I also need like some more spray Clorox. I need all of that. So I'm gonna use that fifteen dollar fifteen dollar gift card to get that stuff. So I just pulled up at Walgreens. Um, we about to go in here return this stuff and y'all i've been taking medicine today hopefully it go ahead and kick in i need to be putting my starbucks order in but i'm gonna do that when i leave here uh because i'm gonna get a honey mint citrus tea oh, when i leave here lord i'm just hitting on people car but yeah let me call y'all when i get back in the store or get in the store period Oh my god, y'all. They have gotten so much smaller. Like, what is this? And I just got this from Target for $13. This is the... Oh, 
so the other one was a size in between this and this. I've never seen this so small. All right, y'all, we got that returned. You can see I got three things of paper towels because I normally spend $20 on paper towels at um, Sam's. I have one roll on my paper towel holder and one roll in the pantry left. So I got three of these. They are kind of tiny, but these was like $5 each. So these will last me probably until sometime in February or the end of February. Cause I really don't want to go back to Sam's until about February. Or maybe even March. <laughs> Cause I, I just re-upped but I did just have guests over and I didn't buy paper towels because I had I had about four or five left and of course you know with them cooking and stuff like that of course we're gonna use the paper towels and eating and stuff like that I did buy tissue when I went to Sam's and they always be like your Sam this tissue is so good because it don't take a lot it's, it's really thick tissue <clears throat> I got like two and a half packs of tissue left, so they used a good amount of my tissue. Um, I don't know how many come in the pack, honestly. I guess I could be looking that up. But right now, we are on the way to Starbies. And y'all know I'm not supporting Starbs because they support the Palestine movement and stuff like that. But Duncan don't have tea. So I'm going to get some honey, citrus, lemon, mint tea which is the medicine ball i already placed my order and it should be ready by the time i get the 45 rolls of tissue and it don't tell me how many uh packs oh it's five packs of large rolls of tissue so if i got two and a half left i mean they use two and a half so that's a that's a pretty large amount <laughs> well there was a lot of people in my apartment so yeah the tissue that i have now will last us probably until about feb so i'll be going back to sam's club in february to get what i need and my daddy told me don't go to sam's gas station no more i do need some gas so while we over here i'm gonna stop at kroger and get some gas um what they doing getting out the car let me make a loop so when i get in the car I could just run in Starbucks and get my order. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get some gas while I'm over here by this Kroger. I really hate that I ain't gonna be able to. Oh baby, they getting out the G wagon, baby. Baby, I'm telling y'all, I be in a rich area, honey. Oh, this is a medical equipment shop. I've been telling Marion, baby, we need to order. We need to open up a medical equipment shop. Cause listen, people gonna always need medical supplies. She coming in with the uh the little knee roller thing, baby. I her G wagon, honey. Yeah, I see that G wagon next to me. Shoot. Should I get out and touch it for some manifestation? Cause I will. <laughs> I surely will. Got the starbs and we about to get the gas. Ooh, y'all, that temperature dropping, and I got on some croc slides. So, what that tells me is I need to run these last two errands and go home. I wanted to go by Hobby Lobby to look at their um, mats and, and door stuff because I need a new wreath. I, I've decided I'm just going to go ahead and take the Christmas stuff down outside of the door because I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of seeing it, but I still love my tree. Um, so depending on how I feel once I leave Target, I might still go to, um, Hobby Lobby. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. I, I don't think I've ever paid attention to, like, their, um, door decorations, like their wreaths and their rugs. Because I normally get that stuff from, like, Ross, TJ Maxx. <sighs> So I'm going to go see what theirs looks like before I go anywhere else. 
because I'm tired of seeing my Christmas stuff. And I was gonna get um, some Valentine's Day stuff. Like I saw a cute wreath on Shein, y'all. It's just like a rose, a pink and white rose uh, wreath on Shein. And I believe it was like 15 or $20. So I might still get that. But I'm ready for that other stuff to come down immediately okay oh my god y'all and then because of temperature dropping this tea is doing the job okay it's doing the job but yeah today's just gonna be random things that i'm doing um i didn't get this on camera but i measured the other side of my closet to see if i can put another ikea trones trones system whatever it's called t-r-o-n-e-s I want to put another one of those systems in my closet for my gym clothes and I think it is not enough space from my measurements so what I'm gonna do when I get back home is I'm gonna uh, take apart the other Tron system that's in my closet and like put it on that wall to see if it'll work before I just go and buy another one so we'll do that once we get back home yeah I really think I'm about to go home Cause first off I'm pissed off I just got off the phone with Marc Jacobs I wanted to check on the status of the order of my purse from last freaking week nobody know where the damn purse is um so I'm calling both stores because on the date of purchase the guy told me he will be ordering from San Marcos Texas so I called them they're like man we don't have no history of this order so I talked to the guy the sales associate who I purchased through Tiago, whatever his name is. I talked to him Sunday. He was like, let me call the store. He never clicked back over. He never called me back. So I just talked to the store manager at the Cypress store. She claimed to be calling me back in five minutes. But if she don't call me back by in an hour, I'm going to be calling them back. And I'm going to have to go to San Marcos. I mean, I'm going to have to go to Cypress probably today or in the morning and it's more than likely gonna be tonight because they close at eight but i mean y'all need to figure out where to order it and i came to hobby lobby trying to see if i want to um get some new door decorations like just a wreath and a new doormat but i don't even want to go in no more because i'm mad well maybe mad is not the right word but i'm annoyed i'm very annoyed and the temperature keeps dropping. I can see the wind blowing people's hair, their scarves and stuff. And I got on these croc slides. I'm already under the weather. So, yeah, I'm about to go home until somebody call me back with some answers. But this ain't it. This ain't it much it, honestly. I'm just going to be 100 with you. I'm just going to be 100 with you. And I might as well just go and go home and get through with uh, laundry. Because I started some more laundry, y'all. Oh, I also went to Target. I don't know if I told y'all, but I got my Target order. Um, I need to fold up some of the laundry from Sunday. Um, I only got two loads that need to be folded. Okay, here she go. Call me back. Hello? Hello, is this Alina? Yes. Um, my name is Becky. I'm calling from um, Mar Jacob Houston store. Uh, we just spoke earlier about yeah. your order. I got you your tracking number. It shows it will get delivered on January 5th. Uh, if you need it, I can read the tracking number and uh, you can check on the UPS website. Because I might have to change the delivery. I won't be home. Mm, I see. Uh, I can provide you a number so you can see on the um, Mar Jacob website. Sorry, uh, UPS website and getting more information on here. Okay, what is the number? Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. His ass told me the San Marcos store. It's at a whole nother damn store. And the order not gonna be here to Friday. That's what I'm saying. That's why his ass should have been text me and told me the tracking number. Yeah, everybody got on tennis shoes, jackets, hats, beanies. I'm about to go home because. I already got this heat up on 80 on my toes right now as we speak. Do this little girl got her legs out, girl. And Sam is my king go in there since I'm over you. Cause this mama ain't got her daughter properly dressed. I'm sorry for cussing y'all. I'm really trying to stop cussing in 2022. 2024, baby. I done took y'all back two years. I'm gonna have to call y'all back. Cause I'm just discombobulated, honestly. <laughs> Woo! 
So they got the Valentine's Day stuff out too. These little black rugs are cute. Well, they ain't black, but brown and black. So they only had, they only be having themed stuff. So they already putting out spring stuff. They got the Valentine's Day stuff out. But I just want a regular rug. And I'll do some other type of Valentine's Day stuff. But I don't want no Valentine's Day rug because I'm going to have to switch that out next too. And normally, I keep the same rug until it is like fall and Christmas. And the other times I be switching my rug. Other times the rug say stuff like home sweet home, welcome home, home is what a hearty, <laughs> anything babes. So, to the crib we go babe. Y'all, I took my hat off, so pay no never mind to how disheveled I look. I said, I, y'all, I just started putting the stuff, the laundry detergent and stuff up, so I just remember I was on the phone with my mom and we were just running our mouth, so I got this as a part of my little $35 purchase. I gotta walk over here and try to show y'all the rest. Um, I got this OxyClean, this Arm & Hammer, and I got two of these purses. Purse, pure sale. I be saying anything, y'all. Pure sale, not purcell. And they are in the book closet. And I'm about to come put my other napkins and stuff down there. So let's go and get all this other stuff. So I got three things of paper towels that we about to put up. I think I showed y'all the bags in the car. So this is what it looked like outside of the bag. And again, compared to my Sam's one, they're not that large. But they'll get me through until my next Sam's trip. I am a book shopper, y'all, because I don't like to keep going to the grocery store. I don't like to keep going to buy household items. And I, I hate buying household items when I buy groceries. Because first of all, groceries are already expensive. To add household stuff on there, babe. It's getting ridiculous. It's gonna get ridiculous real quick. One of them fell, so I had to go back and get it. Got stock of this cabinet. Somebody then pulled my toilet one refills out of the box. I guess it was taking up too much space. I might have to fill up my toilet ones. Baby, I was about to say, I don't know how I'm gonna fit all this stuff over here. That always be my problem. I be having too much stuff, but I'd rather have extra stuff than not enough, and I run out. Like, I, I, y'all, I'm fully stocked on um, disinfectant spray, toilet water re refills. I got some um, wet ones in here. I got so much stuff, y'all. Awesome. But yeah. I still need the little cleaners, like my little spray cleaners from, um, oh, why did I close that viewfinder? I like to see myself. I need the little um, Clorox spray, some more method spray. And the only thing about like buying stuff in bulk, like I still have this, but I'm gonna throw this away because I feel like it's no good. So I'm gonna have to like be very cautious of the laundry, go daddy, of the laundry detergent I buy in bulk because if I don't use it all in enough time, the liquid start getting like film. I have taken my hair down, y'all. I look like a completely different person. The bushiness is here. Okay, we got a hair appointment in the morning. It's like 11.53. I'm about to try to edit a video really quickly. It's honestly probably not going to be that much stuff in the video. Um, But I do want a video to go up tomorrow at 2 or before 2. Because I normally don't upload on Wednesdays. But yeah, I do want a video to go up tomorrow. 
I told y'all when I got back here, I would take my Tron system down out of my closet from one wall and try it on another wall. It looks like it will work, but I don't think two will work. Y'all know it comes in a set of two. So I don't think, well, actually it comes in a set of four. I think I would do better just getting one. Unless Myra can use the other three for something else. But I actually need two of them. But two of them won't fit in my closet. So um, at some point tomorrow, I'm going to get on Ikea's website to see what type of smaller systems they sell. Because I do need somewhere to put my gym clothes. And I also need to go through my drawers and my chester and all that kind of stuff to purge some stuff. And make room for new stuff and, and also stuff that I got. Uh, I'm really not about to do nothing else, y'all. I'm about to shower, wrap this hair, this bush up, because I'm getting a silk press tomorrow. It has started raining outside, which I don't really like. Um, especially because I'm going to a new person to get my hair done. I really don't like that, but I want to wear my hair more in 2024 so this is a start and I just really hope and pray that it's not super humid tomorrow or I just hope that the girl uses really good tools so that my hair can last. We'll talk to y'all in the morning. Good night. Good morning y'all. Happy Wednesday. Today's January 3rd and I'm at Chick-fil-A getting some breakfast before my hair appointment y'all. I have a very bad cold sore break out under my nose girl i hate getting sick because i don't even feel like i have cold symptoms like i just only feel congested and this thing taking over my nose <laughs> um but y'all see the hair looking a mess we are on the way to our hair appointment um hold on let me get this food really quickly the next time y'all see me It'll be a little transformation or whatever. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, perfect. You can lean your head back and shake it if you want to. Oh, period. Oh. Girl, bye. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Y'all ain't never, y'all did see me with my nail trail, but y'all ain't never seen me straight. I had to get a lot of hair cut, y'all. And my hair was, uh, pretty long my hair is still long keep in mind it's curled and I don't, I don't know what it is about me baby but one thing about me anytime and every time I get my hair done I'm gonna I'm a play with it I'm gonna play with it in and every time babe and I don't like these old tight curls so you know what I'm gonna do calm them calm them out son calm them out son but my girl did good on my hair though. I just hope it um lasts as far as like not poofing up and stuff. But I just got to calm these curls out some. And I gotta go home and wash my wrap scarf. It's already looking better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cute, honey. She's giving tea. It's giving tea. Uh, 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 uh. That cold sore need to quit playing with me. I'm going to go put on... What do the hairstylists put? I'm going to put something on my edges. Because I also be wanting my edges to be a little sleek. A little sleek or whatever. But I like... Let me get some little before and after pics. Not before and after. But let me just get some pictures, period. 2024 is the year I start wearing my hair. I might go to the hair store today and get some clip-ins, too. Ooh, I want to calm this out some more, y'all. But I ain't going to do too much. I ain't going to go too crazy because I got to wrap my hair up tonight. Man, that cold sore ugly. Mm. Yeah, we didn't pull up to the place. I don't like how these curls going together, but I'm going to leave them alone. We done pulled up to the place, and y'all, one thing about me, I have on tennis shoes while I'm driving. I'm going to take them mugs off. I got on up boots. That temperature going up, so it's getting hot. 
because I live when I left, it was like when I walked Rocco, it was like 45 degrees. Ooh. When I went to pick up my prescription this morning, it was 50 and now it's 57. So by the time I get out of here, it's gonna be even hotter. But I always take off my shoes when I drive. Tennis shoes. So we finna pay for this street parking. I'll probably be here like two or three hours editing videos because I want to go to work later on today and get some coins because I'm not working no other days this week. I'm going to Mississippi. So yeah, let's pay for this parking, y'all. So Lori just pulled up, so I'm going to wait on her. Baby, did you know that from the moment we fell in and knew we couldn't fall back, knew I'd always crawl back, mm -hmm. cause baby, you see everything from me. Alright y'all, we are home. The curls have dropped some more. It's cute, but I feel like it's getting big, so we about to wrap it. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, Garnier Fructis freeze control on there and we're gonna wrap it. It's curled, so of course it probably looks short, shorter than what it is, but baby, I'm already finna book another appointment with my boy. His booking link was down, so I couldn't reach him. But then I found some other girls who went to him. Like, sis, you been a Michael? You been a Michael? You been a Michael? And they was like, yeah, I been a Michael. I been a Michael. I been a Michael. I love wearing my hair out though. She's cute. She looks, she's giving classy wife. At the low of 41 degrees. This mother freaking been in here. Would y'all, y'all think I'd be crazy if I turn the air on for a little bit? Because I'm hot. And it might be this sweater set. We're going to turn on the air for a little bit. Hey, y'all. Happy Thursday. I am starting to vlog super duper late, y'all. I was supposed to be in Mississippi today, but I decided to stay an extra day so I could get some work done. Um... And I didn't want to miss my client, so I decided to stay extra day. Took my hair down, y'all. It was beautiful, but to me, now it's getting puffy. And honey, I ain't pissed. <laughs> I told Taloya that my hair was getting puffy, and I could feel it. If I don't know nothing else, I know hair, y'all. I know hair. I know my hair. If I don't know nobody else's hair, I know my hair. And what I mean when I say that is, since this ain't my first rodeo with getting a silk press, I could tell like by the way the hair feels that the press ain't all the way pressed. It's bouncy. Don't get me wrong, like the bounce is there, but it's not silky like how I got my hair pressed the last time. I gotta go to Ulta and get a titanium flat iron. Cause I don't think I have a titanium one. Girl, I do have a cheap flat iron. I'm just looking to spend money, honestly, because my chief flat iron is so old. And um, I don't think it has a temperature thing on there. So I'm just going to get a new flat iron and try to doctor up my hair. Hopefully the girl don't watch my vlog, but even if she do, sorry. <laughs> this is just my opinion, how I feel. I'm, I'm upset about the hair not lasting. We are here. I think this is the one that I want. Alright y'all, we're back home. We're about to eat. I went to H-E-B. And normally I get the chicken, cabbage, and uh, rice, jasmine rice. But I saw this sesame chicken. I was like, hmm, that'll be good. And I'm going to have a side of my cabbage. And that's going to be tonight's meal before I play in my hair. Hey y'all, so I know I showed y'all in store, but this is what the flat iron looks like. 
so freaking cute. Aren't they cute? Oh my god, I'm a goat girl. Okay, guys. The battery's going out, but this is the result. It looks just like my wig, but just with a side part. Um, I'm about to put it. Listen, we finna lock this anti-freeze in with this Garnier Fructis. All right, y'all, my purse came today. Girl, let me make sure my address is Look at this little box. I mean, I, the, the purse is small, but some of these companies, I don't know if it's an outlet thing or what, because when Myron ordered my new Marc Jacobs bag, it didn't come in a cute box. But, I don't know, maybe it's a company thing. Because this is the second item I got from Mark Jacobs, like, in a box, in the mail. There wasn't a gift from somebody else. And then, I, you know, I ain't got no Mark Jacobs bag. Like, how y'all don't know I keep bags? You know what I'm saying? But this is how the purse comes. Let me show y'all. It's a marshmallow color. It's not really white. But I feel like this is a staple like you know no matter what trend what season it is you always gonna use a white and a black bag so even though this ain't white this is really like a marshmallow color because this is white see super cute it also has a lock and a key kind of like louis vuitton but i think i kind of want to do an unboxing video and I want to scotch guard it because it is a light color. Original price $350 and I paid $150. But yeah, here it is up close. I'm going to have to show y'all the lock and key and stuff. Even though I showed y'all in Marc Jacobs. But yeah, I'm in my medium size bag era because I be wanting to put my, my everything in here. My camera, my cards my nina if you know what a nina is you know what a nina is but yeah i be wanting to have so much stuff in my bag and a little small bag don't be getting it for me no more even though i love my small bags but i'm finally moving up in size okay love her um morgan got a white and black strap mark jacob strap super cute but for me, I think I'm going to get like some purse charms to go on here. Maybe a bow or something. Kind of like how I do with my larger Marc Jacobs. But I don't know. Depending on what time I get done. Like I'm just about to throw some clothes in the suitcase. Depending on what time I get done with that. The last thing I might do is do like an unboxing. I'm not sure. I might just keep this purse here and text this until I return because I still I gotta do some stuff for work before I go to Mississippi and I absolutely have to get that done so I'm gonna come back to y'all later once everything is done just to show y'all like hey I packed I was being responsible so yeah I will call y'all back later it's been a while since I have checked in with y'all it's Saturday we at the bowling alley. Everybody has arrived. Just say hey, y'all. <laughs> she waved <waiting> too. <laughs> Mommy. She's like, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, yeah.
yesterday. You said rats in here. Hey, what? <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, guys. Get out of the car now. Where's the money? Give me the money out of the mother freaking car. Water here. I didn't even get to show you guys the food. Everything was horrible. The service is horrible. The food is tough. And it's just, it's just a hot mess. Zero stars. Okay. Right. Oh, my girl. <laughs> And she left. She hit me. You seen her? Zero out of ten. Don't recommend at all. Period. Okay. Zero out of ten. Sis, why are you talking? Family, family, what y'all rate this place? A ten. That's just Zero. the bomb. Zero. Lafayette for real, for real. It is disgusting. Oh.